So am I the asshole for not giving my husband my escape money when I saw that we were financially struggling? Yep. I, 34 female, have recently ran into a situation with my husband, 37 male, and I'm curious about if I'm the asshole here or not. So me and my husband have been together for eight years, married for seven. When I got married, my mother came to me privately and talked about setting aside money as a rainy day slash escape fund. What? If worse came to worse. My husband has never showed any signs of being dangerous and rarely even gets upset. But the way my mom talked about it, it seemed like a no-brainer to have. When me and my husband got together, we agreed I would be a stay-at-home wife. We are both child-free, so that was never a concern. The one thing that rubs me the wrong way is... Why do you have an escape fund and you're married? Whatever happened to till death do us part? Stay tuned. What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. Don't forget, hit that like button, tickle that notification bell that will let you know every time I upload content. You know what we're gonna do. Say it with me, y'all. We're gonna roll that clip. My husband made a comfortable mid six figure salary. All was good until about two years ago. He was injured at work in a near fatal accident. Between hospital bills and a lawsuit that we lost, that ate up nearly all of our savings. I took a part-time job while my husband was recovering. But when he fully recovered, we transitioned back into me being unemployed, as my husband insisted that it was his role to provide. He is currently working two full-time jobs and Ubers on his days off to keep us afloat. Here's where I might be the asshole. I do all the expense managing, and I've continued to put money into my escape account. Although I significantly decreased from 750 a month to 200 a month. My husband came home exhausted one night and asked about downsizing because of all the stress of work was going to kill him. I told him downsizing would not be an option as I had spent years making our house a home and offered to go back to work. He tried to be nice, but basically told me that me going back to work wouldn't make enough. After an argument, my husband went through our finances to see where we could cut back. He was confused when he saw I had regular reoccurring withdrawals leading back years and asked me about it. I broke down and revealed my money to him, which now sits at $47,000. What did he say? $47,000. After I told him all of this, he just broke down sobbing. His point of view is I treated him like a predator and hid money from him for years even when he was at his lowest. I told him that the money was a precaution I would have taken with any partner and not specific to him. He left the house to stay with his brother and said I hurt him on every possible level. But my mom says this is exactly what the money is for and I should bail now. Am I the asshole? To label it and have it in your mind as an escape fund, mm -hmm. that's the asshole part to me. There's a her mind in the back of her head that this marriage isn't gonna work out. Mm -hmm. and that his financial I want to make myself very clear this is not an attack or a bash on women at all I'm just telling you the truth now sometimes the truth is gonna hurt but the truth is the truth a lot of you modern women have been conditioned to expect things to fail yep a lot of your mothers failed you they taught you to be ready to escape instead of be ready to build. They taught you to be ready to run away instead of running to your man. They taught you that at the first sign of trouble, you should run. That's what any man, good or bad. Yes, this woman is the a-hole in this situation. And I'll further explain why. Number one, you agreed to be a stay-at-home wife. I did a video once before of this woman who agreed to be a stay-at-home wife. And then all of a sudden, she didn't want to be a stay-at-home wife, even though she agreed to be that. And she decided she was going to get a job and leave and divorce her husband. 
Now we're seeing another instance of a woman agreeing to be a stay-at-home wife. Now when stuff gets tough, you're willing to allow your man to have mental breakdowns. You're willing to allow your man to fail, to fall flat on his face, to cry. And then he finds out about all of the money that you have stashed away. And I agree, there are going to be women in this comment section on this video that will justify why she was in the right. There's going to be women, maybe, that will say, yes, she was the a-hole. Because here's the thing. And ladies, I want you to listen. All the ladies that listen. You have to learn how to date with purpose. If you're not dating to get married, and when you get married, that marriage is going to last forever, stop dating. Do the dating pool a favor and just be single and be happy. Because you are polluting the dating market with BS. And see, this woman not only watched her man struggle, he was a good guy. He was making her feel safe. He was doing everything he needed to do. And when he wanted to cut back because he said, I'm the man, I want to provide. Yep. See, a lot of women, especially black women, y'all will date the bottom of the barrel. You will date Pookies. You will date Ray Rays. You will date unemployed jailbirds. You will date unemployed Pookies. But this woman, she was a stay-at-home wife, didn't really have to work. Then she got a job because her husband got injured. After he recovered, he was working multiple jobs to make ends meet. And it was killing him, literally. And she was sitting on thousands of dollars. $47,000. And that's supposed to be okay? Absolutely not. I feel sorry for that man who had to go through that. Because this is the reason why men don't want to get married. This is the reason why Men are going overseas. We're opting to leave. We're opting to leave the U.S. We don't want to deal with modern women or women in the U.S. at all because this is what you get. What kind of woman would watch her husband suffer, sit on money, and then her mom said it's time for her to go? I, I want the ladies to come in here. Stop allowing your broken, single mothers to ruin your relationship. If you are married to a man, your mother should not be able to influence any decision you have with that husband, especially if he's doing his job as a man. And then your mother is telling you the time is up. You need to leave. A lot of your mothers were single mothers. And then you turned out to be just like them. They failed you. They had dropped the ball. And instead of you being a grown woman saying, you know what? My mom made a mistake. I'm not going to be like her. You turn out to be exactly like her. And I can almost guarantee that her mom is single. Now she's going to be single.
not because of anything the man did, but because of her own ignorance. And this is the reason why modern women will continue to die alone and be single. And they should. Because you cannot tell me this is wrong. If you drop a comment that agrees with the woman, you're a modern woman. Point blank. If you agree with this woman after hearing what this man went through, I have no words for you. You are a modern woman and you deserve to die alone just like this woman will. And I'm going to leave you with this, ladies. If you want a good man, don't date pookies. Don't listen to your mom. Especially if she's not married. Don't listen to your single friends. Listen to men. If you want to get married, listen to us. Because if you don't fit our program, we're not going to marry you. If you want to get married, be what a man desires in a woman. And watch how fast you get married. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell. That will let you know every time I upload content. And until the next video, peace.